Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. I'm Derek Ray here on the commentary position, and joining me will be Lee Dixon. And on the menu today, live action from the Pro League coming up. It's Al Tawun, and they face Al Hilal. Cheers, Derek. Yeah, really excited about this one. Looking forward to some entertaining end to end football. Well, unlike many teams who struggle when they're away from home, you can't say that about this team. They have the best away record in the league league. Yeah, eight wins in 15 games says to me that the communication between the manager and the players is spot on. An away record like that requires a clear, organised game plan that the players fully understand. The line-up then for the hosts. Would you call it 4-5-1, Lee? Yeah, I really like this formation, Derek. 4-2-3-1, really. The two central midfield players supplying support to a three ahead of them and then a lone striker with a number 10 just behind him. And a look at the starting lineup for Al Hilal. It does rather look as though it's going to be a battle of the 4-5-1 formations in this game. Similar setups, Lee. Well, it looks lovely in the graphic, doesn't it? There's players everywhere. They have got the freedom to roam around the pitch how they see fit. There is some structure to it, but that lone striker up front needs support, not only around him, but from wide areas of two. The supply line will come from the wide midfield players and maybe the overlapping fullbacks. And the game begins. Al-Gamdi, Iago. Splendid tackle and a throw-in coming up. Jang Hyun Su, Mohamed Al Buraik, Gomis now, Cuellar, Al Buraik, onto Carrillo, well, possibilities in the centre, Gustavo Cuellar, a fine use of the ball, Vieto must take the lead here. What a vital intervention. And over comes the corner. Well, did his job defensively. Good physical play. Amisi. Tawamba. Cedric Amisi. Lovely first touch. That wasn't easy. Well, they've lost the ball. Vieto. Gomis now. Good looking ball. Tremendous block. Cedric Amisi. Algamdi. Iago <laughs> 
Cedric Amici. I'd be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. Well, that's one for them to pursue. Cross blocked. And putting his body on the line. Are they going to forge ahead? Incredible instinctive goalkeeping. Yeah, he didn't have long to react, did he? But you have to praise his reflexes there. Now, how about the short corner? Dangerous looking attack. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Useful looking ball. A matter of keeping his composure. Well, taking on the short, but pulling it just a hair. Nice looking pass. It needs an accurate cross. And making the run to the inside. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. And that's an important intervention. Under pressure, doesn't seem to be bothering him. Cross fired over, clattered away. It might be perfectly set up for the counter attack, you know. Andre Carillo plays it back. Could be, and it's come off the keeper. Salman Al Faraj. Gomis now. And unable to keep the ball. A really effective shielding under pressure. Looks promising this. It's got to be! And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. Well, here's the goal again. And it's a great ball to put him through. And the thunderous strike to beat the keeper hands down is absolutely brilliant. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. One nil then. Read it superbly to take back possession. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Kaku it's opening up for them Cedric Amici had a chance to whip it in here Al Gamdi keeping it moving dynamically 
So there it is, the whistle for half-time. And even though we think of the visitors as a very proficient team away from home, it's just not happening in this game so far. Yeah, their away record has been impeccable throughout the season, but they just haven't quite replicated that form today. Still plenty to play for in the second half, though. And you feel if they can level it up early, you'd fancy their chances to get another one. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Salman Al Faraj. Gomis now. Gustavo Cuellar. Oh, that's an interesting pass. He's got to get to that cross. I'd be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. They've got it now, what can they do? Opportunity to deliver the cross. Yasser al Shahrani. Well, he's lost the ball. An example of how to press. Tawamba Oh, great vision well, Can they prize them open now? Kaku Oh, he's through here in a two-goal cushion now and the lead fully merited well we can take another look at this now and he's connected so well with it generated a lot of power and the keeper just can't react in time look well the goal again albeit from a different angle So, a personnel change then. So, 2-0 now. Bafetimbi Gomis. Jang Hyun Su. Kuyar. And the right place to cut out the pass. Half an hour remaining then. The hosts have really controlled possession and all of their team are enjoying this performance. That's why they're winning and that's why they're one of the best teams. Gustavo Cuellar. Now what can they do from here? Al Buraik. And players waiting in the centre. Will it happen for him here? Is it going to be? And there is the goal! He's found the net! Joy unconfined! Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box, just begging for someone to get on the end of it. And then it's probably the easiest tap-in he will ever get. Lovely stuff. Well, as they kick off again, 2-1, the current state of affairs. Algamdi, Iago, Amisi. 
Not important for him to remain calm. So a throw in here. Substitution time it is. Another perfect position to read it. Buffett in Bigomis. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Still trailing, but they're upping the pressure. Salman Al Faraj. And options in the centre. Al Shahrani. Fruitful looking attack. But it can't get through. Beautifully timed. Gomis. He made it look simple, really. 15 minutes remaining. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? Really vital interception here. Iago. Just listen to the fans here, Derek. They've just kept their noses in front and these fans are doing their best to push them to the final whistle. Opportunity it is. It's got to be. Well, he saw the whites of the keeper's eyes and the whites of his outstretched gloves. Great goalkeeping. Well, he's denied a certain goal there. Great reflexes from the keeper. Well, they've decided to make a change. Played into the centre of the box. Well cleared away. Cedric Amici. Can he put it away? And how about that for reflex action? Perfect, perfect goalkeeping. He waited, he waited, and then look at him spring. He's driven in the corner. Fisted clear. Really vital interception. An important interception. He could pick out a teammate. And a fine tackle. Cuellar. Mohamed Al Buraik. Gustavo Cuellar. So a personnel change then. Well, we are going to have a decent amount of stoppage time. Three minutes to be exact. Amici. Well, still time for them to level it. It's a perfect challenge. Well, it needs to be careful here. And that will do it for this game, and we spoke earlier about the wonderful away form, but a thoroughly frustrating and disappointing day at the office league. 
Well, Derek, it was pretty tight in the end. Yes, that impeccable away record has been damaged, but there were some good positive things out there today. It was touch and go who was going to grab the three points, but they just fell short.